एक मिनट हाय एवरीवन ओके ए सना गुड मॉर्निंग मॉर्निंग सना आई डोंट नो एक्चुअली वी मूव्ड दिस 10 पीएम बिकॉज़ एवरीबॉडी वोटेड फॉर दिस 10 एएम बट फॉर सम पीपल दिस इज टू लेट स्पेशली पीपल इन इंडिया yeah i was thinking about that for me it's better but i think yes you're right for european people and um, indian time zone it's very difficult yeah so i think we have to see like how many people joined today and then we have to make the decision sounds good Let's wait for a couple of more minutes, uh, and again, uh, given the time has changed, I don't know. Everybody got, got the, you know, uh, the details of the timing. So let's wait for a few minutes. It may help if we post the Zoom link in the TSC Slack channel right now because people may be looking for it. Uh, makes yeah. sense actually. Uh, can it, um, is it possible for you to post it now? Sure, I can do that. I just want to double check first. That's sure, all. sure, please go ahead. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hello, everyone. Hey, Balaji. Hey, Kanna. We're just waiting for people to join. Uh, yeah, yeah. We were just in another meeting, Kanna. Actually, <laughs> we, okay. we we just came out of the other meeting. We are joining. Tal, Vim, and all we are going to join. Yeah. Yeah, so three minutes pass. I think we can get started. I see that still people are joining. Uh, Lucy is not available today. So, um, Porter, do you want to bring up the slides? Actually, I, if I could get, um, let's see, is Sunny on? Oh, Sunny's not on. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll have to do double duty here. So, give me one second. Okay, that should be the slides. Okay. All right, I believe I'm squared away here. So definitely we don't have a quorum. Um, so I'm not sure whether the timing change is uh, sort of impacting. And at least I know that uh, people in India, they complained about, uh, you know, this particular timing because it's 11.30 night for them. Um, so let's see like one or two calls, then we probably have to do something with respect to this timing. So let's, uh, let's go to the agenda items, please. Oh, let's... Um... Just quick reminder that the antitrust policy applies to all meetings at the Linux Foundation. If you have any questions, reach out to us or consult your legal counsel. And 
Let's see, meeting information, everybody has that. I think we can go directly to the agenda slide. I think slide number seven. There we are. All right, so I think the uh, today we have a very light agenda uh, with that. Uh, we would like to discuss about uh, the blocks that can be posted. And I think I don't see Sunny on the call, but I can actually talk through that. Um, so let's go to the next slide, please. So we would like to actually publish uh, blogs about the community. And uh, there's a lot of people who are asking for details on like, you know, what are we doing on release one? And uh, I think the information is like spread across like multiple recordings, multiple calls and multiple presentation. And I think the presentation that we used in the uh, ONES summit was very useful for a lot of people and they appreciated the content. And I think it's good to have like a bunch of blog published so that uh, people who are outside to our community or even people in our community, you know, like to share materials with the, their uh, company or executives or uh, even the media people who are requesting for information about our release one, I think they can benefit from these blogs. Uh, so the intention here is that uh, primarily uh, publish a bunch of blogs. And so here is a proposal. So the proposal is that each SIG group uh, write a blog uh, about what's coming up in release one or the topics that interest you. Specifically, we should definitely do one blog about release one. And primarily you can write about, and I think the presentation that we did to uh, Linux Foundation uh, team yesterday, uh, I think that had the content that we should have put it in the blog, like, you know, specifically what's coming in blog, you know, release one, like what are the use cases, how are we developing and stuff like that. So with that said, I think the proposal here is that each SIG group, chair and vice chair, uh, please coordinate with your SIG group and create a blog uh, specifically highlighting R1. But if you want to publish like additional blogs about, you know, the things about collaboration, or the technology or you know specific topic that you want to highlight uh, feel free to do so and uh, but definitely we want our one blog uh, from each of the sig group and we will do the same thing from tse as well so now i think let's work together actually to author something and uh, people in the tse uh, can actually provide some additional reviews and if they want to share some content as well we can put it into a blog and then we can publish it the goal for this is that, you know, like if we can get a decent draft by February, then of course, like this has to go through some legal reviews and Linux foundations and stuff like that, but it should be a very light review that uh, we should uh, have it. And I think the Sunny will coordinate all those stuff. Then uh, we can go ahead and actually publish that on the, our NFEO website by March 1st. Um, so with that, uh, any question on this particular item? And again, I'm looking for chair and vice chair to coordinate among the SIG group, and we will do that for TSE. Me and Sana will do that for the TSE. We'll draft it. Then if you have any additional commands and questions, we can actually work with you. And uh, and then we can actually publish in the March of us week. Anybody has any question? Uh, where you will you uh, upload these blocks? Uh, we we will put it actually in some sort of a Google Doc and provide a link in the wiki as well, Gunnar, uh, so that everybody can see what the content is being written. Uh, so at least start with the, some sort of a, a draft uh, by the chair and vice chair. Then I think the people in the SIG group and TSE can provide additional inputs. But if you want to write like entirely a separate blog about uh, as long as this is related to nephew, not a marketing material about a company or so, and uh, that is absolutely okay. So if there is any other specific topic that you want to have a blog created and published, uh, we, we can coordinate that as well. So, so these would be published kind of on the um, uh, on the nephew website, right? We have a blog on the nephew website and we, we've only published, I think, two blogs. So my understanding is that's what, that's what we're talking about, right? That is exactly what we're talking about. So it will be published in the nephew.org website. And uh, I think as you mentioned that there's a couple of blogs that we published during the launch, but after that we didn't put much information. Yeah, so there's there's actually, if you go look at that page, um, there's sort of categories that we, um, uh, we aspired to create in the blog, but then with only two entries and three categories, it's a little awkward. 
but the one of them is like voice of the telco. So the idea here, and I think Sana and, and Condon maybe wrote a blog in that area, that right, it's it's from an end user perspective, what do we need from Nephew, or how is Nephew going to help, or what's the uh, 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 goals from uh, um, that sort of customer end user viewpoint. Um, and so, you know, and then there's other categories as well. So like, take a look at that and in in, 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 in think about what blogs you might want to do in that context. Um, but of course, anything's welcome. I mean, as Kandam was saying. Okay, so thank you very much. And uh, I think let's coordinate a uh, chair and uh, vice chair, please. So let's coordinate to make this happen. And uh, let's go to the next agenda item. So I think primarily the SIG uh, group updates. So now, do you have any updates on the network? Uh, uh, Kaushik is not on this call today. And uh, if you, if there is any update you want to share, please go ahead. Uh, Kandan, we are at the similar stage. We are still receiving more inputs from the service providers to give us the user journeys detail. Uh, so far, I have received uh, one update. Uh, we are consolidating that, and we'll be presenting that to SIGARC uh, in our next meeting. OK, awesome. Let's go to the same automation, and I think uh, John and Wim, I think you, uh, we wanted to have uh, you cover actually the plan for plan for release uh, release one development. Uh, so if you could talk through that. And yeah, so I'll give a, I'll give an update, and then Wim may have additional things to um, contribute. So we're we're progressing on the plan. So two weeks ago in this call, I, I sort of set an ambitious goal for having a, a plan. Um, We've made substantial progress on that. We don't have a super concrete plan yet. We're still working on it, but we are making progress. So the uh, we've put together a project board where we've laid out a number of the tasks. Um, a lot of what we're doing right now is focused on the design tasks from which we'll fall out more of our um, uh, individual uh, concrete execution you know, uh, uh, path. Um, the There's two effectively things we're looking at. Um, uh, in addition to sort of the general design, we're looking at the gaps between what we have in the workshop and what we need to meet the use cases. So we've been we've been working through that, um, and then there's uh, we're anticipating seed code coming uh, in the next uh, uh, few weeks, uh, and so there'll be a similar analysis of the gaps between what, what what which gaps are filled by the seed code and which are still not. Um, so those are the sort of inputs we need to the plan that we're. Um, working through uh, uh, and and kind of trying to refine the designs to, um, and, and those are inputs to the designs to some extent. Um, the other thing we're doing is gathering some data around contributions. Uh, so, you know, obviously we all know open source is, a, is a voluntary. And so we're finding out what our existing contributors are able to uh, commit to over the next few months. Um, and then uh, essentially, once uh, we have an under, a, a clearer understanding of that, along with a, a clearer understanding of those gaps in the seed code and all of these pieces, we should be able to evaluate uh, the, you know, uh, how, how realistic it is to meet uh, which of the use cases um, in what time frame. Uh, so, uh, like I said, we still don't have all the prerequisites to make those kind of um, conclusion, draw those kind of conclusions, but we're making progress towards them. And uh, do you like to actually, I don't know whether you plan to actually showcase this project board. Um, so I think you provided a high level overview, really appreciate that. Um, do you like to open up this project board and talk through it or uh, what's your plan today? I, I didn't intend to do that. If you'd like to, we could, um, but it's- Yes, that would be helpful, John, uh, if you could quickly just to walk through it. Like it doesn't need to be the full detail, but at least walk through it. Uh, so Kurt, can you please open this project board link, please? So there's actually two project boards. Uh, oh, well, no, maybe there's just one project board. Uh, yeah, go ahead. So what you see here, um, a few of the things, and they're very high level right now, right? So so what we did is we had a document that this this where we had discussion around this. But we've outlined the major pieces that came out of the workshop. And then each of these entries uh, will kind of go through and uh, detail what needs to be done with that particular uh, uh, component. So 
uh, if you click, for example, on number seven, implement package dependency controller. So this is we this is an example of um, some of the discussion we're having around how to um, manage dependencies between different uh, elements of a you know of a of a topology and and uh, between infrastructure and work, workload uh, network function as well as between network functions. Um, and so, uh, you know, like I said, this is more of a, a marker for the work we need to do. Um, and what would evolve out of this, you can close this particular issue, it's just to give you an exa a flavor, example of the flavor. Um, what will close out of this uh, is uh, within the Nephew project, the Nephew uh, repository, we'll have uh, a series of design documents and diagrams um, that show all the different components, what their sort of uh, uh, APIs and interactions are between one another and um, the high level designs of each of those. And then that will roll into uh, more detailed uh, elements on this project board. And the process wise, uh, in our weekly meetings, we will triage, or, or we actually have two meetings a week now, We'll triage uh, these um, issues and assign them to individuals. So you see an assignee column there uh, and, and kind of try to uh, manage the project in that way, which is a pretty standard software development management process. Um, and I think Bala or somebody just said on the chat, yes, there's a second project board for SIG release. So the, the division of labor here is that SIG release is building out all of the um, test infrastructure, the build infrastructure, the packaging uh, and installation and uh, sandbox for like uh, playing with R1 all comes out of SIG release and they have a, they have a separate project board um, and, and we'll be executing against that. So that's kind of the, the very, very high level of process wise what we're doing. Current steps are really around iterating on the designs out of the, 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 that we, the existing designs we've had discussions around, iterating on those, as well as uh, evaluating the gaps, like I said, between what's been implemented thus far in the workshop uh, and what's been implemented thus far in the seed code uh, and what we need for R1. And so that, that analysis is ongoing. Is that helpful, Kanan? Yeah, I think it is helpful. And I think if anybody else has any question on uh, some of this process or anything that you want to bring it up. And I think this uh, maybe is, one yeah, thing. Uh, Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, Hunar, go ahead. Uh, please go ahead. I, I will ask after that. Yeah, so I, I was just going to, to add, I, so as, as John was saying, it's Wim uh, here. So the yeah, we are also doing a bit of a bottoms up uh, view on how much capacity we will have uh, in terms of people able to contribute. So at the moment, the latest, I so we started the poll uh, yesterday uh, to, because at the end of the day, we have to divide uh, that work across people. So at the moment, I, I was just looking at the spreadsheet. We have around six full time equivalents. So if you would, I so six per. I, uh, equivalent and then of which 50% of expert level. So, so hopefully we get more people involved. So everyone who is willing to contribute uh, in code about uh, SIG1, SIG2 and SIG3 uh, would be, please fill out uh, the form if you haven't seen that. We have sent that to SIG Automation. We can also send it to other uh, lists, but uh, every person that we can help us uh, contribute and, and get uh, added to this uh, list will help us uh, all uh, in the content of release one. Yeah, okay. well, I would like to have a question that what these uh, numbers after the line, this hash mark nine, hash mark 11, what that, that means? Oh, that's just the issue number. It, it, that's just a GitHub. Uh, I think, I okay. Think. Okay. So nothing like priority or something like that. Yeah. Okay. No, we haven't gotten the priority. So there's a we'll 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 tweak this board over time. But there's a um, there are labels for priority. There's a bunch of labels we can assign if, on all of these issues. We just haven't done that management of it yet. The triage aspect of it yet, um, because we're just you know we're we're getting the ball rolling here. 
Yeah, uh, also what I would like just to propose, so uh, you just described that uh, the focus of R1 will be the network function CRDs and uh, deployment, deployment of network functions. It means that the uh, CAS part and the network function configuration is for later releases. So maybe we can also just on high level uh, declare that, that this is out of scope of R1, just to be clear on that. Uh, so the, w w the things that are, yeah, we're, we're trying to draw the scope narrowly around the use cases that were given up to us from Signet Arch, which there's, there's four, four of those user stories. They do involve capacity changes, but we don't go into like the configuration of the workloads themselves or the network function themselves. So like, like NetConf or something isn't something we're striving to do in in R1 because we, we just don't have capacity for that. But um, we do have community members, again, right, as open source, this isn't really totally top down. We can't just say, <laughs> do this. People are going to contribute in the areas that, that are meaningful for them. And one of those is, is uh, like cluster provisioning is we have community members who are really interested in that. So that may actually, even though it's not part of our initial use cases, if that's what people are able to contribute because that's in line with their organization or, or whatever it needs. Then, then we're we're happy to take those contributions, and uh, if they, you know, if they don't disrupt the schedule, we, we love to have them. So, in that mm -hmm. sense, okay. it's more open, you know, wild west because um, because we're not a top down organization that can dictate. But um, but we do we will manage scope in the sense of we don't want things coming in that while we would love to have them are going to delay our one in a way that's that's you know harmful to the community um so that's a that's a delicate man you know balancing act but, but we definitely are, um, are are eager to get additional contributions in areas that aren't necessarily yeah well, may, maybe i was just also thinking in the context of the blogs so most probably mm -hmm. the uh somebody who is reading what is nephew r1 would like to know what they can expect out of it. Yes. So if we get this high level goal, maybe it's also a gain a block. Yeah. yeah, that's a great point. OK, anything else? Uh, oh. Uh, Oh, so our next uh, 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 thing, I guess, uh, we do plan, and I know there's a meeting this morning I wasn't able to attend, but we might have updates. The, the, there is, you know, the, the CRD design is a, an area, uh, a sort of of joint uh, interest to SIGS 1 and 2 um, in the sense that uh, a lot of the expertise around um, what's needed is going to come out of SIG 1. So we're the plan right now is we're taking our understanding, our current understanding, uh, and proposing a set of CRD designs. And we expect to propose, we're, we're working on coming into agreement amongst ourselves in SIG2. And then we'll present that, um, uh, we'll deliver that, not, not probably present it in, uh, because I don't think there's a meeting next week, but we'll um, deliver that next week sometime uh, for review by SIG1 and to, to start those discussions. And depending on the feedback we get, you know, we'll have to make a decision on whether we can incorporate it in time based on schedule and all of that. But uh, at least we, we need to initiate that discussion. Yeah, we need more uh, discussion, uh, John. So uh, <laughs> we will probably have another call tomorrow. OK. All right, so, um, so thank you very much. Uh... Um, is there anything else from anybody to add on the SIG automation? And the SIG release, Stephen, do you have any updates to share? Yeah, sorry for not uh, updating the, the deck. So as, as John just alluded to, uh, thank you for Balaji. So we have a project board right now. So, so Balaji actually put it on the link on the chat. So I'll, I'll update the, uh, the, the, the meeting uh, deck. Uh, broadly speaking, we have three categories of stuff. One of them would be prow related things, CICD related things. Uh, the, the other one is testbed related stuff. So those two are major development, if you will, work. 
And then the, the last one would be process uh, oriented things. So right now we are, we do have good contributors to try to sign up. So hopefully there are more folks that are signing up and, and get things going. So we, we do have a plan moving forward for what SIG3 is. And then obviously we work very closely with SIG2 to try to define uh, what their needs are. Uh, and then and in terms of how to map that into release. So that's what we are right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So thank you. Uh, is there anybody else has anything else to add for today? And I see Sunny, you joined that thing. We discussed about the blog and I think teams will create the blogs and uh, they will get in touch with you. So, yep. Sounds great. Sure. If you're done sure. with that, I generally have a question uh, on CLA. Uh, uh, go ahead, Balaji. Yeah. So, so I spoke to the lawyers of uh, the, the legal department. Uh, at this point of time, they're saying that uh, can we, can Red Hatters go with ICLA? Is, the, is that okay? I mean, we have a choice, right? We could, we could do one or the other, right? See, the best, uh, the best is that I don't want to discuss that whole uh, company versus like uh, what need to be signed. So I think what I would request is like to send an email to Scott and I think he can clarify you and maybe connect your legal with the Scott. And that way, you know, like company to company discussion, you know, that happens that way. Uh, because it's all company preference, right? We clarified, you know, like these options are available for all. And I think it's up to the company to decide. So uh, if there are any specific questions, Balaji, you can connect your legal person or you can actually send an email to Scott. And if you want, you can copy me, but you can also reach out to Scott directly. Okay, okay. Thank okay. you. Thanks. Sure. Uh, please put Scott email address to the uh, <laughs> to the chat. Yeah, so I think uh, Scott, let me get you that first. So the email address is available in the chat. All right, so any other question before we draw? I think I see Anne, you have raised a hand. Please go ahead. Uh, hi, thanks. I have a quick question and I don't intend for it to be challenging, but seeking clarification. The May deadline, since it's coming up very fast and we're still debating on CRDs and uh, approaches for R1 architecture, in the small, not the large overall architecture. I'm curious, what was the decision process or rationale for the May deadline? And is it firm? You know where I'm going. I'm, I'm nervous that we won't make it. I'm not sure I follow your question. Like, uh, are you asking specific? Uh, can you please repeat the question? Yeah. So. We have about two months left to deliver something for R1, right? And I don't have a good understanding of what the rationale for the May deadline versus say June versus April. Is there a reason why we have a May deadline time-wise? See, I think um, it was just a target. And I think the way we should work it out is that I think we should not delay too much. Uh, so we should see like what can be done, but, uh, but I think collectively once this, uh, whatever the plan is being worked out, uh, we can collectively figure out whether what date it would actually land. Uh, but I think the common desire is like, uh, let's, let's do it as soon as possible. You know, if there's something need to be de-scoped and, uh, you know, it could be a, a continued version of the delivery that we can do. Um, so let's target for May. But if there's some slippage, I think we should discuss and figure out like, you know, whether we slip it or whether we add that functionality, maybe it's a critical functionality that is needed. So I think uh, right now, I think May is more of a target and it's not a, it's not a fixed date yet. Okay. Uh, because, you know, the resource versus timeline versus feature triangle, right? So yes. I'm just trying to understand all parts. Yeah, Thanks. yeah that, thank you. And I think that, like Kanan said, like, that's part of why, like, we're trying to understand the capacity. We're trying to understand, you know, what people can commit with their current um, mandates from their employers. Most people 
uh, although we have some individual contributors, we but um, most people are coming from their employers. And they they have you know they, they, their employers are only willing to commit so much. So the question becomes, with those resources and those commitments, with the plan we have, with the features we hope to do, can we? What date can we make? And then my hope is that as that plan becomes sharper and clearer, either we see, hey, we've got the capacity to do what we want to do, and you know, here's the date we can do it, and the TSC is happy with that, or we say, okay, here's the capacity we have, here's what we want to do. If you want it by that date, you know, we need this much more capacity very quickly, and maybe the the people participating in the TSC can go back to their organizations and get some additional resources. So it, we will have to play with each of those three variables you talked about. Um, and and uh, um, that's kind of my thinking around it right now. No, agree. Okay, thank you. I think it's a very good question. I think uh, um, so again, uh, collectively we have to make a decision. So right now let's target for like April, May timeframe, but uh, there's some slippage. I think we just have to figure out how to address it. The way we communicated to the external people that including media is that uh, we said the second, uh, you know, primarily first part of this year and the second part of the year, people can start uh, using it or trying it. So in that context, like, uh, you know, by June, I think we should get it out. But again, uh, if we can make it happen by May, I would be very happy about that. Okay, so Kenny, I think you have a question, please go ahead. Yeah, I just wanted to um, say again, thank you for uh, participating in our uh, DNTF yesterday. I uh, thought it went very well. Um, generated a lot of interest um, uh, on the part of folks in LFN. And I will be doing some outreach to uh, work with uh, your TSC to um, get some joint meetings going with the ONAP TSC. So, um, just wanted to uh, say that and doesn't need to be worked out here. We can do that offline, but um, thank you again. And uh, looking forward to the partnership. Sure, I think we really appreciate uh, the opportunity and uh, we truly enjoyed uh, presenting the presentation to a large number of people. So Kenny, thanks for organizing it and coordinating it. And we are looking for like a stronger collaboration with the elephant community. And uh, let's uh, let's work out the next steps as well. Thank you very much. Uh, just one question: Is that is that, that presentation the material uh, available to the wider audience? Uh, yes, Ravi. I think uh, Kenny is uploading the recording, and uh, the slides also will be available. And we will put the same slides into our wiki page as well for our access. Sure. Thanks a lot. Sure. Yep. Um, if all of the recordings aren't already uploaded, they will be today. Um, I did part of them. Lucy did part of them. Um, and uh, so I know that they're at least partially uploaded. Um, but the individual presenters are responsible for uploading their own uh, presentation materials. Um, the We tend to put that on the wiki because it's uh, geographically accessible um, by everyone. Um, if there's something specific that, that you'd like to um, see put on uh, YouTube or something, just let us know. Yeah, thank you. All right, so thank you everyone uh, for your time today. Uh, and may, maybe just one uh, final uh, question that uh, the MVC, so what was finally decided that we don't meet in MVC or there is any chance that uh, uh, we we have don't have any official meetup in Funar. I think we mentioned this on the previous TSC. Uh, yeah, meeting. I remember. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so we don't have any official conference room or anything like that. Uh, but if anybody going in there, uh, feel free to catch up. Uh, I will not be in the MWC, but uh, if anybody going to be there, uh, okay. we'll connect and uh, discuss and also promote our community. Okay. I will be there. Okay. Sure. Thank you, Hanari. If you could actually promote the community, I think really appreciate it. If you can, uh, you know, uh, really appreciate it. If you need any materials or anything like that, I'm very happy to supply you those materials. Like we have like a standard and a few slides and stuff. Yeah, and, please send it over. Uh, if, um, if I have the chance to promote, definitely I will do that. Sure. 
<laughs> All right, so thank you guys. I appreciate it. Okay. Thank right. you, everyone. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.